destekleme zamanı. Hüseyin Hayatsever, Reuters. Hüseyin Hayatsever, Reuters. Benim e, sorum Sayın Genel Sekreteri olacak. Mr. Stoltenberg, Turkish President Erdoğan signaled that uh, Turkey could ratify uh, Finland's application to NATO alone. Uh, you already uh, referred to this issue this week. You said the main question is not whether together uh, their ratification. The main question is uh, that uh, they should be ratified as soon as possible. So. Uh, My question is, uh, is there a, a deadline for NATO? I mean, not a uh, official deadline, but uh, would, would it be, would it cause a problem for NATO if Turkey uh, does not complete ratification process till Vilnius uh, summit? Uh, and in addition to that, uh, Turkey objects Sweden's application uh, mainly on terrorism related issues. Uh, and you also emphasize that Turkey has legitimate concerns on this uh, terrorism issue. Uh, so uh, how this fight against terrorism issue uh, will be discussed in uh, Vilnius summit? Sayın Bakan, size de bu konuda İsveç Finlandiya konusunda kısa bir soru yöneltmek isterim. Bugünkü görüşmenizde Sayın Genel Sekreter bu konuda yeni bir oyun Did you take into consideration any other dimension about the application of Sweden and Finland? So my consistent position uh, has been and uh, remains that uh, the time has come to ratify both uh, Finland and Sweden and make them full members of our alliance. Uh, they have both made uh, big steps since we signed the um, uh, joint memorandum between uh, Finland, Sweden and Turkey in, uh, in July at the NATO summit in Madrid uh, last year. Um, they have removed any restrictions on arms exports, uh, strengthened their legislation on uh, terrorism, um, and uh, Sweden is also uh, amending their constitution and uh, stepped up the cooperation with Turkey, uh, also established a permanent mechanism to continue to work closer with Turkey uh, in, in the fight against uh, terrorism. Um, so I continue to, uh, to, to uh, believe that the time is now uh, to ratify both uh, Finland and, uh, and uh, Sweden. Let me also add that I, I, I fully recognize that Turkey has uh, legitimate security concerns. No other NATO ally has suffered more terrorist uh, uh, attacks than uh, Turkey. And that's the reason why uh, uh, terrorism was an important part of the trilateral memorandum agreed in July. That's why uh, for NATO the fight against terrorism is uh, one of the main tasks. And why, of course, uh, as we prepare for the Wilderness Summit, as we continue to adapt uh, the alliance, uh, terrorism will be uh, high on the NATO uh, agenda. Um, and I also believe that to have Finland and Sweden inside the alliance would actually strengthen our capabilities uh, to uh, fight uh, international uh, terrorism. Uh, then, uh, uh, on your question uh, of, uh, of uh, whether uh, uh, uh, Finland and Sweden uh, should be ratified uh, together, um, uh, or whether uh, it's possible to ratify Finland first and uh, Sweden uh, afterwards, uh, well, again, my position is that uh, both can be ratified now, uh, but the main issue is not whether uh, they are ratified together. The main issue is that uh, Finland and Sweden are ratified as soon as uh, possible. Uh, then let me also say that I know that the burning of the Koran um, in uh, Stockholm um, has created uh, strong reactions in Turkey. Uh, and I understand and I share the pain uh, because I personally regard uh, the burning of the Holy Book as a disgraceful act. Uh, and uh, I uh, understand the feelings of Muslims in Turkey and around uh, the world. Um, and therefore I also strongly condemn uh, the burning but also uh, welcome the fact that uh, uh, Sweden has been able to prevent um, uh, other uh, uh, manifestations uh, with uh, the burning of the uh, Quran as part of the uh, manifestation. And uh, uh, 
And I welcome also that the Swedish government and the Swedish Prime Minister uh, has clearly condemned uh, this disgraceful uh, act. Uh, not all um, acts which are uh, disgraceful or immoral or provocative are illegal, uh, but it is important uh, to have a strong position, and that's uh, what we have seen clearly from the Swedish uh, government. Uh, so, um, um, uh, for me, this just demonstrates that uh, uh, Sweden and Finland uh, understand uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, are implementing um, uh, policies which uh, recognizes uh, uh, the, the, the concerns that uh, Turkey has expressed and also why um, I think that the time has come uh, uh, to ratify. Let me add one more thing and that is that this is, this is a Turkish decision. Uh, it's, it's, the, uh, uh, it's the Turkish uh, uh, government, the Turkish parliament, uh, that decides uh, on the issue of ratification. And it's a Turkish decision alone. Uh, because uh, what has uh, to be decided uh, by Turkey is whether to ratify the accession documents, and that is a decision that Turkey has to take. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, during today's uh, meeting, as I have uh, expressed, uh, we did focus on this issue. In relation to membership of Sweden and Finland, the uh, process was going in parallel. And uh, the uh, declaration of uh, President Erdogan in relation to Finland's membership after this declaration, this was something that we discussed with the relevant countries and with NATO. The meaning of this is that uh, the NATO member membership process of Finland <coughs> could be evaluated separately from Sweden's uh, process. And I do believe that this is going to be uh, coming to the agenda in the meeting today with the pre uh, President Erdogan. But in relation to membership of these two countries, the attitude of Turkey has been very clear and there is no secret agenda behind it. Meeting of the concerns of Turkey, not just on paper but in action as well. Uh, on the other hand, we did discuss uh, all of these since the very beginning with the uh, contribution of the Secretary General. We discussed this in Madrid and uh, as uh, Turkey, we have always uh, respected uh, Mr. Stoltenberg and uh, we have uh, discussed uh, uh, this uh, uh, in uh, a courageous uh, manner and he has always been giving in this process and contributing and of course we do know that uh, the membership of these two countries are important with us uh, during these negotiations and while we were signing the trilateral MOU we were also together. In the end, these two countries took certain steps. We did not deny this and we are always uh, believing that the steps, uh, some of the steps that have been taken have been very positive, but especially on, uh, in, in relation to Sweden. The obligations of Sweden, saying that all the uh, obligations of Sweden have been fulfilled, is not going to be a realistic approach. We have not seen the concrete steps yet. And of course here, yes, they have taken steps to, to take uh, the legislation to a much more firm stance and made a constitutional amendment. Why? Uh, but why this amendment was uh, undertaken? As it was uh, indicated in the uh, MOU, financing of terrorism and uh, recruits uh, for terrorism and uh, also uh, propaganda for terrorism, these were all uh, to be eliminated and uh, prevented. The law has been amended, but the same activities of PKK and YPD are continuing, like recruits to the terrorist organization, like the financing uh, of uh, terrorism, and the symbols of uh, 
the terrorist e, organization together with the posters e, of uh, the uh, secessionist leader of uh, this organization, e, they are still e, being exhibited. In the end, these uh, legislations and legislative amendments were not done to make us happy. They were done to uh, eliminate and prevent such acts, and they need to fulfill the requirements of this legislation, just like they do not allow propaganda for Daesh, they shouldn't be allowing propaganda for PKK. And of course, this was uh, approved by uh, this. Uh, there were two threats that we identified. One was Russia, and the second one was terrorism in Madrid. So Turkey's, uh, Turkey has uh, concerns need to be met. Burning of the Holy Quran and uh, Islamophobia and such uh, hate crime and such racism is not just uh, to be evaluated in the context of NATO membership of these two countries. We also are aware of the fact that these are acts taken to eliminate Sweden's membership and uh, we know that these are being done by people who are deprived of any wisdom whatsoever. But this is a hate crime, this is uh, racism, and this is against humanity. And of course, these are against international law, these are against uh, human rights, and this is a criminal offense. So it's not like it's a criminal offense for me and not for them. Anti-Semitism is a, a crime against humanity, Islamophobia is against uh, uh, hate crime and against humanity. It's not uh, interpreted uh, per se differently, but we need to take into consideration international norms accordingly and eliminate this. In the end, we do not have a relatively a major problem with, with respect to Finland, but we are always underlining that Sweden should take concrete steps, and it was not just us that mentioned this, but uh, Tobias Bostrom also visited uh, Turkey following the Swedish Prime Minister's visit, and when he uh, went to the Parliament, this was something that he heard from all par uh, parties in the Parliament. This is about political parties, and therefore both Sweden and Finland need to take these steps, uh, and uh, otherwise we're not against the ex uh, enhancing of the NATO alliance or the strengthening of uh, the NATO alliance. Shaduman Turkay, Demir Turkay, from Demir News Agency. My question is to Minister Çavuşoğlu. The U.S. Secretary of State is to pay a visit to Turkey on 19 to 20th of February. Is the program of this visit certain? When are you going to meet with the Secretary Blinken, and what are going to be the topics that you discuss? Thank you very much. This is actually a visit that was planned. And, uh, prior to the earthquake and uh, uh, on 18th of January during our meeting uh, in uh, Washington DC we discussed uh, uh, that uh, Secretary Blinken was to pay a, vi a visit to our country after the Munich uh, Security uh, Conference uh, we were actually planning either today or tomorrow and uh, most possibly after the Munich uh, Security Conference uh, he is going to be visiting uh, our country uh, on Monday morning we will be having uh, our deliberations uh, together here in Ankara of course uh, we are going to be thankful for the support they have rendered uh, in relation to the earthquake and they have constantly been in contact with us and uh, Mr. Belenke called me twice uh, after the earthquake but both from Ankara and uh, Washington through our diplomatic missions and our ministries they have been asking whether they uh, can provide any additional support we are grateful for the support they have already rendered these are going to be the issues that we're going to tackle as you know we have a strategic mechanism to resolve uh, the current problems to overcome them and to focus on the positive agenda and also to uh, develop our relations in each and every field. Uh, President Erdogan 
kalması üzerine. Also agreed with President Biden in Rome about all these aspects. We are going to be talking about these. We are going to be talking about bilateral relations. Obviously, we are going to be discussing the NATO membership of Sweden and Finland about the solidarity amongst the NATO allies. Bilateral as well as regional issues will be discussed. Likewise, the war in Ukraine. But after the agenda, which our colleagues are working on. And following uh, the uh, deliberations, we will have a press meeting and we will convey our messages. Thank you.